Hey, what's up everyone? Danny here. In this video, I'm going to show you a general fitness workout you can use using a light bar. This bar we're going to use today is this. They call these aerobic bars. This is actually a nine pound bar. So if you have one of these, perfect. If you don't, just grab a broomstick or anything just for some warm up exercises. All right, so the first exercise I'm showing here is a warm-up exercise. We're actually going to do a series of warm-up exercises. So here, what I'm doing is just an overhead raise to behind the neck press. So this is good to warm up the upper body and the shoulders. So we're just raising up overhead, holding for a second, and then pressing behind your neck to get a nice stretch and then bring it back up. And we're going to repeat this for 10 reps. Next up, we have the forward diagonal stretch. So here we're just gonna spread our feet. And now holding the bar, we're actually gonna just bend forward towards the left side, get a nice stretch in your hamstrings and your back, then come back up and do the same thing on your right side. We're gonna alternate 10 reps on left and then 10 reps on the right. Next up, we're gonna stretch our back muscles. So we're gonna keep the bar in an overhead fashion like this. And now what I'm gonna do is bring the bar, the weight, slightly backwards. So in this manner, we're gonna stretch and squeeze the lower back and then warm up the posterior chain using the glutes, the back, and the shoulders to squeeze every repetition for 10 reps. For the last warm-up exercise here, I'm gonna hold the bar and I'm gonna raise it in the frontal position, parallel to my shoulders. Hold for a second or two and then bring it overhead and hold for a second or two here before lowering back at your waist. All right, so we're gonna complete 10 full repetitions of this. Bring it up in front of your chest, holding it, and then bring it above your head, holding it, and then lowering back down slowly. All right, so this is gonna complete the warm-up session before we get to a few stretches. Now in the stretching segment, what we're gonna do is stretch the upper body. So we're gonna stretch the single arm shoulder stretch here. So just hold your arm behind your tricep right now and just stretch for five to 10 seconds and then switch sides, do the same thing on the other side. Here we're gonna do the behind the back shoulder and neck stretch. So here we're gonna really stretch the shoulders and your neck muscles as well. So just hold your arm behind your back. Now grab your wrist, pull gently at the same time you're gonna really feel the stretch in your trapezius, your neck muscles, and your shoulders. Five to 10 seconds on each side. It's gonna complete this exercise. Now we're gonna stretch our back with a standing cat stretch. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna lean forward and then stretch and then come back to center. And do a few reps like this, really stretching out your spine and your back and then coming back to center. 10 reps will do it for this one. Next up, we're gonna do the standing side oblique stretching. What we're gonna do is hold our fingers together just like this. I call this a nest grip. Now we're gonna bring our arms overhead and I'll stretch to one side, one to two seconds, then come back to middle and stretch to the opposite side for one to two seconds. Complete 10 repetitions of this stretch, really stretching your obliques, your lats, your back muscles. Last stretching exercise for this workout is gonna be the sprawling stretch. So what we're gonna do, it's almost like a cat stretch. We're gonna lean into a high plank or a push-up position. And now we're gonna to start to bring our hips towards the ground. As we keep our torso looking towards the ceiling, you're gonna really feel a nice stretch in the abdominals, upper body, and stretching your back as well. All right, so we're gonna complete 10 slow reps on this one, and that's gonna complete our stretching portion for this session. All right, we're gonna end this fitness body weight session with three exercises that are gonna work more calisthenics. The first exercise we're actually gonna hit is the dive bombers, all right? So this is a push-up position. You're gonna spread your feet apart, stay into the high plank or push-up position once again. And now imagine there's a rope and you're gonna dive underneath the rope using your head, your chin, your chest, back into that stretching position and then come back up the starting position. So we're gonna complete 10 repetitions of this one. This is called a dive bombers. Really good calisthenic exercise to improve your strength using the body weight workout. We're almost done the workout session. The next one is gonna be called swimmers. Now elevate your legs and your torso. So you're really just resting on the abdomen here. Now imagine you're doing a swimming motion with both your left and right arms simultaneously. So now you go slow, contract the back muscles and the deltoids, get a nice squeeze until your arms reach your sides, and then come back up and start the motion once again for 10 repetitions. So this one, use it in a nice controlled fashion, really focusing on contraction of your back and your shoulders. 
The last exercise we're going to do is called kickouts, or sometimes referred to as the half burpee. So all we're going to do is stand straight, drop down until your hands touch the ground. Now kick your legs back into a high plank position, bring your feet back to your hands, and then stand back up. This is the half burpee, or sometimes called kickouts. This one here is a nice position or a nice exercise to use if you're a beginner. This one here, we're going to hit 10 repetitions for this exercise as well. So there you have it guys, a nice general fitness workout using only body weight exercises you can hit at home. Until next time guys, I'll catch you in the next training session. Take care.